Hello and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you the easiest and fastest way in which you can add contacts to MailChimp. Now there's a few reasons on why someone might want to add contacts to MailChimp and they include sending email campaigns, segmenting contacts, tracking results, building relationships and collecting data. If you're looking for a way to do all of these then MailChimp is a great option. However, it is important to note that you should only add contacts to MailChimp if you have their permission. Adding contacts to MailChimp without their permission is a violation of the MailChimp Terms of Service and can result in your account being suspended or even terminated. So that being said, let's jump into it. I'm going to show you how you can add your contacts right now. So to start with, you first want to head over to this Audience tab here and just select All Contacts. And here we will see all the contacts that we actually have. And in order to add more contacts, so in order to add more contacts, you just want to select add contacts here and then you want to go down to import contacts. Now there's a few different ways and how we can actually do this. So we can select, so we can select import from another service, which means if we already have contacts on Zapier, Salesforce, WooCommerce, QuickBooks, Squarespace or Shopify, we can simply import them straight from that website, which will save us a lot of time if we have tons of contacts. However, if that method is not for you, there is a couple more ways in which we can do it. So if I go back here, we can also upload a file. So we can import con we can import contacts from a CSV or a TXT file. And then last but not least, we can also copy and paste it. So, so as you can see, it says directly paste the new contacts from a spreadsheet or a similar list. Now I already have a CSV made of some fake email accounts and names, as you can see here. I just made some fake emails and um, fake names just for the sake of the video so I can show you how to import it. So I'm just going to browse that and select that file now. And once you have it added, it will look something like this if you chose to do it this way. And then here we can continue to organize. So here's where you want to organize your contacts. So you want to basically select a status. So you can choose between subscribed, unsubscribed, non-subscribed and cleaned. Now, if you click on subscribed, it indicates that you've gained permission to market to them. If you choose unsubscribed, contacts can receive ads, postcards and transactional emails like order notifications, but they will not be able to receive marketing emails. Non-subscribed is pretty much the same as unsubscribed and then cleaned means clean contacts cannot receive any type of marketing and they do not count towards your monthly plan limit. So choose whichever one suits you best. And down here, we can also update any existing contacts. So if any important contacts are already in your audience, we'll automatically replace the information with the data from your import. This option may make the import process take a bit longer. So keep that in mind. And once we've chosen those options, we can get, we can select continue to tag. And then here's where we want to tag our contacts. So we can easily organize our contacts by using simple word and phrases that make the most sense to you. So if these were like staff members, for example, and then we're going to know who these contacts actually are just from looking at the tag. So once you've chosen the relevant tags, you can also type them in here if you want. So you can add more if these aren't good enough for you. And then you want to select continue to match. So as you can see, here's those fake emails and first name and last names. And when we're happy that this is all correct, we're going to select finalize import. And here's where we can review and complete the import. So, so it's going to tell you what audience is going to be added to. It's going to show you where it's imported from, what the email marketing status is. And you can also see whether you chose to update existing contacts and you can see the tags that you added. And then once you're ready, you can select complete import. And since I have actually already added these into my audience, it's not letting me. However, assuming you were doing this correctly, so assuming you've done this correctly, it will say that you've successfully added in your contacts and then you can select view contacts. And then from there, you will see the list of people that you just added. And then once you have actually done that, it will look something like this. You can head over to your uh, contacts tab and you will see all your contacts in here. You can see their emails, their first name, last name, you can add all, all this other information if it's necessary. And then here's where you can see their tags and what status they are. After you have done this, you will be able to do a number of things such as send email campaigns, create segments, send automated emails, track results, create landing pages and use MailChimp CRM features. So I do recommend using all these features to their maximum potential. 
So I hope you managed to import your contacts correctly. If you did, please comment down below to say that this video helped you out. And like and subscribe for more content like this. Thank you for watching.